ओके प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव इज प्रिपेयर रिसीट्स एंड पेमेंट्स अकाउंट ऑफ कडलूर कबड्डी एसोसिएशन इन द बुक्स ऑफ कडलूर कबड्डी एसोसिएशन कडलूर कबड्डी एसोसिएशन receipts and the payments account for the year ending 31/3/2019 the same date now we shall go to the problem number 5 opening cash balance that is in the beginning to बैलेंस ब्रॉड डाउन कैश इट इज इलेवन थाउजेंड लिजन कैरफुली वेन आई एम सेलेक्टिंग सम प्रॉब्लम यू मस्ट बी वेरी केयरफुल देर मस्ट बी समथिंग इन दिस विच इज न्यू टू यू यू मस्ट बी वेरी केयरफुल Balance brought down eleven thousand cash balance. Then opening bank overdraft balance it is given. The last problem, the second item was bank balance. Therefore, under this balance brought down itself, I wrote bank and I wrote amount there. You can see the problem. But here it is not bank balance, but bank overdraft balance. Since it is more drop, you should write on the payment side to bank over drop amount is twenty thousand. I once again repeat this point. In the previous problem, both the cash balance and the bank balances are given. So what I wrote there. To balance brought down under it, I wrote the cash balance as cash amount and the bank balance bank and amount. But in this problem, it is opening cash balance. Therefore, balance brought down under it, I have written the term cash. The very next item is it is not bank balance but the bank overdraft. Since it is overdraft, we must write it on the payment side. If it is ordinary bank balance, here we can write. Bank twenty thousand, eleven thousand plus twenty thousand, thirty-one thousand. We can write what we did for the previous problem. Okay, All right. The next one: stationery purchased. Once you purchase something, it must be payment by stationery. By stationery, five thousand two hundred. Then, travelling expenses. This is also expense. Therefore, payment. Travelling expenses, thousand eight hundred. Dividend received to dividend. This is received. Therefore, received side to dividend three thousand. Then next one is general expenses. Therefore, by general expenses. General expenses. The amount is five hundred. Then admission fees. It is also an expense by admission fees. 
This is admission fees uh, received by the club, therefore it is a receipt by admission fee, I mean to admission fees. To admit anybody in the association, the fees is collected, therefore it is a receipt. Admission fees, 4,000. Then, courier charges, it is an expense. Courier charges. Charges, 2,000. Then the next item, municipal taxes, tax is paid, therefore it is a payment by municipal taxes, amount to 3,000. Interest and bank charges, these are all the amount paid by interest and bank charges. By interest and bank charges, 250. Then, the miscellaneous income, income it is given, therefore it is on the receipt side. Miscellaneous income, 350, 350, upkeep of ground, what do you mean by upkeep, upkeep means maintenance here, yeah. maintenance of ground, therefore it is an expense, by Upkeep of ground. Upkeep of ground. 550. Then grant from government. Government is giving some financial assistance to these kinds of clubs. The Mari Club government will help under the financial assistance. So it is a receipt, grant from government to grant from government. The amount is twelve thousand. Telephone charges paid by Telephone charges. By telephone charges. 2800. Two thousand eight hundred. Endowment fund receipts. It is a term, receipt it is given, therefore on the receipt side, endowment fund receipt. Fund receipt, endowment fund receipt, 10,000. Then, Insurance premium paid, it is payment by insurance premium. By insurance premium, 2000. By electricity charges. Paid, therefore it is also payment by 
electricity charges electricity charges paid 5000 The last one is closing cash balance by balance carried down since it is closing cash balance under it you can write cash. If it is closing bank balance under this you can write bank. Therefore closing cash balance 1750. We have written and now you can find the total find the total this is the receipt side Forty thousand three fifty, and on the payment side, Here the receipt side is 40,350 and payment side is 44,850 which is the greatest total 44,850. You write on both sides and the balancing theory is from this you minus this 0 minus 0 5 minus 5 0 8 minus 3 5 4 minus 0 4 4500 here where the amount is missing balancing figure this side is 4500 if it is the balancing figure on the payment side you can write under it the bank 4500 you can write once again i repeat if it is the amount, the balancing figure to be written on the payment side, that means what if receipt is greater than the payment. But in this problem, payment is greater than the receipt. So receipt side is big. Therefore, the balancing figure should appear on the receipt side. If the balancing figure is on the payment side, under this balance carried out, Cash already given in the problem, therefore you can write bank. Bank 4500. That what we have done for problem number 4. But here the balancing figure is appearing on the debit side, and therefore we should write here bank 4500. We should write the bank overdraft. 4,500. If it is an ordinary balance, it should appear on the payment side. If the balance is on the receipt side, then you should write the bank overdraft. Once again, I repeat. Here, in the books of Kadalur Company Association, name is given, date is given there. We have drawn the format. Okay, very good. Then, after drawing the format, we are going the terms one by one, one opening cash balance, it is balance brought down cash 11,000, the next item is bank overdraft balance, if it is an ordinary balance, here we can write the bank 20,000, 11,000 plus 20,000, 31,000 we can write, but it is bank overdraft, that should not be written on the receipt side, so you write it on the payment side. Okay, the next item. 
stationary purchased by stationary without return because it is a payment traveling expenses it is a payment dividend received it is a receipt then the next item general expenses therefore it is an expense payment side admission fees is received by the club whenever a person is admitted as a member into the association he should pay the admission fees so the admission fees is collected by the club so it is a receipt for the club then next one general expenses we have return and the next one is admission fees we have return courier charges it is an expense we have return municipal taxes paid an expense we have return then interest and bank charges it is an expense we have return on the payment side miscellaneous income it is a receipt we have return on the receipt side upkeep of ground upkeep of ground means maintenance of ground for that the money should be spent therefore it is a payment so by upkeep of ground then next one grant from government for these types of associations and the clubs government is helping for running it by giving a small amount as a financial assistance therefore it is a receipt for the club so grant from government is a receipt telephone charges it is an expense insurance premium it is an expense return on the payment side electricity charges it is an expense on the payment side and closing cash balance by balance carry down for opening brought down balance brought down closing balance carry down it is cash that for right of return this and when you find the total receipt side 40350 and payment side 44850 here the payment side total is greater therefore you write on both sides where the balancing figure appears on the receipt side so the 4500 balancing figure is written here if it is the shortage here you can write under this balance carry down since already there is a term cash used you can write that bank there and the bank 4500 but here the balancing figure is appearing on the receipt side therefore you cannot write simply the bank here you should write bank to overdraft 4500 what does it mean why should we write since the payment or the expenses are greater than the income some kind of loan should have been borrowed and that loan should have been borrowed from the bank that is the meaning of this bank to overdraft 4500 and so far we have completed the first part of the account under this chapter accounts of not for profit organizations and what are the three types of accounts we will have to prepare i said in previous classes receipts and payments account income and expenditure account and the third one is balance sheet now we are coming to the end of preparing the receipts and the payments account almost the first part of preparing the accounts is over in this what you have understood what you should bear in mind then under this preparation whatever the items in the name of receipt we can write it under receipt side whatever the amount we are paying in the name of expenses etc we should write it on the payment side irrespective of revenue items and the capital item whether there is an item given as a receipt item uh, sorry as a revenue item or capital item whatever it is we don't bother about the nature of the item what all we receive we receive under the receipt side and what all we pay we are writing it on the payment side and only and only expense exception is these three 
depreciation, outstanding expenses, and accrued income. These three items are excluded. These three items will not appear under receipts and payments account. And also, when you start preparing this account, the opening balance should be returned on the receipt side to balance brought down. If there is cash balance, cash, bank balance, bank. In case, in the beginning, if it is a bank overdraft, it is given. You cannot write it here on the receipt side. You should write on the payment side. Likewise, after passing entries in the receipts and payments account, you, if the balancing figure is on the payment side, you can write by balance, carry down, cash you can write. If there is any cash balance already given in the problem, under the balancing figure, must be returned as balance brought down, cash is given in the book itself, and what is the balancing figure you have found out, and you write it here, bank, and write down, as we did the for fourth problem. But in this problem, here, the receipt side is lesser, only the payment side is greater. Payment side is greater than the receipt side. Therefore, how much it is greater? 4,500. You write the greatest amount on both the sides and the balancing figure is 4,500. If this balancing figure appears on the payment side, you can write here bank 4,500. Since the balancing figure is appearing on the receipt side, you should write the two bank overdraft 4,500 on the receipt side. That's all.